Hello everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today, I am kicking off my spring decorating series, decorating my family room. And this video is sponsored by Two Pages Curtains. Yes, it is time to change up these window panels again, lighten up the space. So right now I am moving our piano so I can easily get to these windows and change them out. I'm also moving my grandson's piano as well so we can go to work and give my family room a dramatic look. Now two pages were so kind to send me two sets of window panels, one for this window and one in my kitchen nook. Let me tell you a little bit about two pages as I change these panels out. They are a online store that makes custom panels that will make your home warm, comfortable, luxurious, and they are of great quality and they have affordable prices. They provide customized services for all products on the site and the goods can be shipped within seven days of the order being placed. I chose these beautiful, soft Birkin velvet panels in the color khaki. The stitching is excellent and I chose a back tab way of hanging these window panels. They have a wide selection of window panels. You can choose from different textures, different colors, different hanging header styles. You have the choice of liners, Whatever your need is, two panels got you, okay? <laughs> so many choices to choose from. That's why I say you can customize your windows to your needs. Look at all of these beautiful colors in the sidebar. And I'm sharing with you the hanging header styles and the different liners you can choose from. All you need is the measurements of your windows. And I chose 52 by 96. And two pages will customize your beautiful window panels. Now I have not even completed installing these window panels and it has transformed my space already. I'm loving this neutral color and I cannot wait to install the other set. I still need to adjust the top, but look how beautiful these velvet window panels look. I'm loving the color. I'm loving the quality of these window panels. I am loving the length. And now I am going to add some tassels to dress it up a bit. Okay. 
And here they are on one of my windows. So, so pretty. And I am so pleased with these window panels. And you will see later how I adjust the top on the right hand side because I'm not liking that, but that's on me. These window panels really changed the look in my family room and I am loving it. So right now I'm moving the piano back in place. And once I do that, I am going to install the other set in my kitchen nook. And I am super excited. Now here's the set in my kitchen nook and I'm panning over to the right so you can see the other set in my family room. I wanted them to look exactly alike in color. And they look amazing in these spaces. They are really giving me a cohesive look. Unifying both spaces together. I would like to thank Two Pages for the opportunity of working with them. I absolutely love these window panels and I am so blessed to be able to share them with my blessed family. Information about two pages and their products will be listed in my description box down below. I will have an affiliate link listed there as well as a discount code for all of my blessed family. Again, thank you, Two Pages, for this opportunity. So guys, I am going into one of my ottomans, pulling out florals, because I am going to decorate my family room for spring. I'm getting a jump start on it because I have so much going on within the next couple of months. So I want my home ready for spring. That way I can concentrate on what I need to. And guys, I have shared this ottoman with you, the storage ottoman with you, but this is my first time sharing with you what I store in it. I store all of my long stem florals in it. So I am getting ready to place a centerpiece on my kitchen nook table. So I have cleaned my table and I am polishing it, giving it a shine, getting it ready for my beautiful centerpiece. So one of the many things that I love to do is shop the Diva store. <laughs> I shop my home first before going out purchasing anything new. Yes, the Diva store is plentiful. So I start there first. I had these vases for many, many years. They came from Hobby Lobby. And of course, y'all know me. I purchased them for pennies. <laughs> These florals I had already and purchased them from Marshalls slash Home Goods. And yes, they are in stores now again for spring. I love the wide bulb on these florals. They come as a set of three. So they make a powerful impact.
to your decor and home. Now come back and see me because I'm going to do a spring tablescape at a later day. I just want to place something pretty here on my kitchen nook table. Because when you walk into my home and you look into this area, this is the first thing you see when you come towards the back of my home. So here are my centerpieces. I am loving it. I'm loving the khaki color with the pink. And of course, I'm gonna tie in another color shortly in my family room, along with these two colors. But this is so, so pretty to me. And I'm loving it so far. So right now I'm gonna set out a few pieces in my family room, like on top of our piano here, I'm placing these candle holders. I'm loving these. I stumbled across these over the holidays and they are so, so pretty to me. And I'm placing these blessed candles in the candle holders that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. The candle holders came from Marshalls. Now I am changing out this metal art slash mirror. And if you've been watching me, you know I just hauled these beautiful floral artwork paintings from Burlington. Let's add some decor to one of two credenzas. And here is my other credenza on the right. Now, if you look down into the mirror of this credenza, you see a lot, right? I have all my home decor at my feet. 
I love pulling out things that I think I will use to decorate my home, placing them on the floor and pull from there. As you can see, I have my pillows. I am almost at the finish line. <laughs> so these are the pillows I think I'm going to use in my family room. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you around my space and let you see what I've done. I haven't set a tablescape yet, so you'll have to come back and see what I do. Just wanted to keep it very simple because we do eat at this table every day here in my kitchen nook. So I just placed this beautiful two vases with these florals in it as a centerpiece. And we're gonna build from there. Love it, love it, love it. And I love the backdrop of my table here, which are these beautiful window panels, custom window panels from Two Pages. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna move to the side now. This sofa table here. I'm really not pleased with right now at the moment, so I will be tweaking this one, all right? And I am thinking I want to uh, place serving or entertainment pieces here. Not sure yet, but come back and see what I do to this table. This sofa table, I just have candle holders placed on it, some decor. So we will definitely change that. Above the sofa table is a mirror from Z Gallery. And I'm gonna pan to the right and you see the other custom window panels from Two Pages. I absolutely love how these pair together and transitions from my kitchen nook to my family room. So now we're gonna go into the family room. So panning down from this window, you see our baby grand piano, and I'm not pleased with this either, the tops of it, of the piano. So this may change, and I just may tweak it a bit. But I have this vase with this pompous grass in it. And I may just need to change the color of the pompous grass and that may work for me because I do love these candle holders that I picked up recently from Marshalls. They are Z Gallery dupes because I've seen something similar in Z Gallery like this in silver, gold, and black. And then down below, of course, you see my grandson's piano that he loves to play on. Moving to this area here next to the piano, I have an ottoman, a storage ottoman here, and I placed some pillows in pink, black, and white. which are actually pillow covers. The pink ones came from Amazon and the black and white came from my YouTube sister, Chanel. And I will have those listed below so you can check out her Etsy shop. She has some beautiful pillow covers. And I also placed a throw on this ottoman to bring in that black white and pink look. Mirrors above came from Home Goods. In the corner between the ottoman and the credenza, you see a vase that I found thrifting. It's actually a Z Gallery vase. And I placed some florals, some tall florals in it. I'm gonna move to my credenza, one of two. And you see that beautiful painting 
of all of those bursting florals. I picked up two of those paintings or artwork from Burlington just recently. The lamp is from Home Goods, and we all, all know that lamp very well. <laughs> the floral I just put together real quick in that black vase, and those florals from Hobby Lobby. These decorative boxes came from Ross, I think last year. And these trio of candles I picked up over the holidays, 90% off sale at uh, uh, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Paid a little or nothing for those three candlesticks. And I just placed some tall pink candles in them. Credenza came from Amazon and I will have it linked in my description box down below. Now my fireplace, I did not change a thing on it. I am debating whether or not to put some florals on it. I don't want the florals to overpower this room. Uh, so we will see. So I kept it as is. Hubby did change the fireplace to pink. And I'm like, it is making me hotter than it is here in Florida because we are hitting 80 degree weather. He doesn't have the heat on, but it's still hot here, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, we placed it on pink. Now I'm gonna take you to this credenza. So this is on the right side of our fireplace. I placed another floral wall art painting above the credenza, the same as the other side. Have the same lamp, but changed out the decor to make it a little different. I have some decorative books there. My At Home with Nikki books, as well as another book, a designer book from Amazon. That black and white box came from Ross. This vase was actually gold and I painted it black and I'm loving it black. I'm loving it better black than I did gold. And I played around with some florals in this vase. Different items from Hobby Lobby as well as the Dollar Tree. Candlesticks came from Marshalls last year. Have to bring in <laughs> a little bling, guys. That's just me. Not to overpower my room with bling. And of course, more pink candle sticks. And another credenza from Amazon. Now next to the credenza, this set here is actually hiding a plug. <laughs> That's all it's really doing. Uh, this set of two tables came from Ross, I think a year or two ago. And I think they were actually gold and I painted them silver. Spray paint can be your friend. <laughs> I already had everything that you see here the florals, the vase, and the decorative box. And that rounds out this little corner here. So I'm panning to my sofa. You can see the pillows that I have on it because you know your girl loves some pillow covers and some pillows. Everything you see I already had here with the exception of this oblong pillow that I recently hauled. Very, very pretty. Everything that I can possibly link in my description box down below will be listed. The black and white pillow came from Tuesday morning. 
our Tuesday morning is, or we have a couple of, of Tuesday mornings here in my area. They are going out of business, so I, I'm feeling a little sad. Other pillows I had already. Of course, the pink one is a pillow cover from Amazon. Throw from, I think, Tuesday morning as well. If I didn't say uh, the sofa or uh, the sectional came from Z Gallery. We absolutely love this sofa. It is so, so comfortable. And the pillows repeat on the other end. That middle section is mine. It is so, so comfortable. <laughs> And this is the other side of the sectional. And then if you pan up, you can see my kitchen nook off to the left. So my ceiling fan came from a sister company of Costway. If I can link that, I will have it linked in my description box down below. And I'm going to pan down so you can see my coffee table. The large vase I recently hauled and I placed more florals from Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, I picked up those fern looking leaves. I need one more and I hope I can find one more <laughs> because I need one for this one. This smaller vase I found thrifting, which made me want <laughs> the larger vase, right? So I'm loving the florals in this. I'm loving this whole coffee table styling. It's very simple with a very large impacts of the decor. Now this pink tray, I also just hauled. It came from Burlington. These coasters came from Etsy. The decorative box, Ross, as well as this candle holder, which was a recent purchase from Ross when they had that 49 cent sale. This candle holder was $2.49 since and guys my table coffee table itself was a thrifted fine for just one hundred dollars it came with gold a gold tone and i painted it silver to match my credenzas took me about two days to complete the color change and I am loving it now the rug I'm ready to change so I will be looking for a new rug <laughs> pat this one for a while and it's just time to change it this is an 8 by 10 rug Safavea very pretty but again I need to update it.
guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and you can shop my Amazon store for beautiful home decor, home essentials, personal items, and more. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. And if you are a faithful and returning ABH family member, you already know how I feel about you. I love you guys so, so much. And I am truly blessed that you are a part of our amazing family that we have here. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you on the next video. Guys, I have some exciting things coming your way. So, see you then. Love you guys.